Welcome to Daily Devotions with John Dyer. We're continuing our series looking for the Gospel of Matthew. Today's reading is taken from Matthew chapter 16. Our key verse is verse 24. And it says, Then Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves, take up their cross, and follow me. Today's devotion is all about what is the true cost of commitment. Back in 1884, John Henry Patterson formed the National Cash Register Co. And he led the company to prominence and profitability. He made it successful and he paid attention to the details and kept an eye on each department in his company. At one time it became apparent that the factory was having a number of burglaries. Patterson was convinced that the security staff weren't doing their job properly. So one night he put on a glow-in-the-dark suit and rode up to the plant on a white horse. He jimmied open the door of the tools room, helped himself to several spare parts and then rode off without being challenged even once. The next morning he replaced the security staff. Now why did Patterson replace them security staff? He did because they weren't doing their job properly. They weren't paying attention and they weren't committed. Commitment is really a dying reality in our world today. There are many signs of dying commitment all around us. Marriages are breaking up left, right and centre. Commitment in attending events such as weddings continues to get lower. And people are becoming less and less willing to join organisations because of any additional commitment they have to take on. Many people feel that their friends, close friends are fewer than in the past. Membership clubs have seen fewer and fewer new members. And people stopped making multiple purchases because of commitment. Jim Elliott said, Wherever you will be, all there. Live to hilt in every situation you believe to be in the will of God. We are called to be different to the kind of people around us. We are called to live a life of commitment in following Jesus. We are called to become radical in our commitment. And in today's reading we see that. Jesus is committed to go where he was not wanted. Jesus was committed to suffer for the people who rejected him. Jesus was committed to die for the lost world. And Jesus was committed to the ultimate victory. In Matthew chapter 16, Jesus gives us command for radical commitment. He says to his disciples, If anyone would come after me, they must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. There is no such thing as low-cost grace. There is no such thing as low-cost Christianity. Jesus is calling you to give up all and follow him. It's an all-or-nothing deal. Jesus wants all of your life. Following Jesus costs you your life in exchange for his. Following Jesus costs your life of bondage to sin in exchange for a life of freedom in Christ. Following Jesus costs you a life that is cursed for a life that is blessed. Following Christ costs you a sinful life in exchange for Christ's righteousness. Following Jesus costs you everything. Let's pray together. Our Father, we thank you that our life can be exchanged for Christ, that his righteousness can be given to us in part of our sinful nature, that all his merit is now given on us for all the punishment which we deserved. Lord, help us in our commitment to you to be faithful in following you, to take up our cross daily, realizing that we're no longer living for self, no longer living for our own glory, for the things that we want, but we're living to glorify you for our lives. Lord, we pray that you will be exalted in all that we do this day. In Jesus' precious name, amen.